Today, we are going to be trying out some makeup from Visionary Cosmetics. They sent us a palette of makeup and I am going to test it out and tell you a little bit about the company. Hi, this is Corey. Welcome back to Blind to Billionaire. Today we are doing something super different. I am actually filming in our bathroom and I am going to show you guys um, some stuff about Visionary Cosmetics. They sent us um, a makeup remover as well as a palette of makeup. It's the DuJour palette that you can buy on their website. But I'm not necessarily promoting the product. All I'm doing is showing you the product because you can make the decision if it's right for you or not. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit about it before I get started and kind of show you how the product is. So this is a company that was started by someone whose mom had glaucoma. He, I believe, saw her kind of struggle with makeup, kind of like struggle with like, you know, I mean, there's a lot of struggles when you're low vision or blind with makeup, like what color are you using? What color looks good? How much to apply? What not? So anyways, um, he designed this company. So when they sent us this, this product, um, they sent us this palette of makeup and they sent it to us with a braille sheet um, of, of a sheet of braille and so this sheet of braille my understanding is, is that it tells us about what colors are on this palette um, if you are blind or low vision I think it would be nearly impossible to if you're blind I don't think it would be possible to be able to tell what colors are on this makeup palette um, I know on the back of it there is no description there's also no braille on this makeup palette um, I, you can ask for when you order these products you can either get the instructions in braille or you can get them in large print um, but that is just kind of how the instructions are written on the makeup remover there is braille which um, you kind of can see a little bit but anyway there's braille on the makeup remover so that's helpful if you, you know, read Braille. Um, <clears throat> initially when I got the palette, I wasn't sure actually wh what you're supposed to use these products for specifically, just because there's um, matte colors on top and shimmers on the bottom. And I wasn't sure if they were like lip colors or if they were eye colors, rouge, I just wasn't certain. Um, so anyway, I went on the website, read about each color, the deal with Visionary Cosmetics is that they're really catering towards like the blind population is what they're kind of saying. <clears throat> and so the colors are described a little bit, they say that they're described slightly better than like normal colors might be described. So instead of just calling something like stoplight red, they have like a little bit more description of the colors. Um, you can look into that and kind of see what you think. So the colors are designed to be used either with a brush or with your finger. What they kind of say is that, and, and this is, I mean, you all know Matt's the one who in our family who is blind, I'm sighted, um, that if you use like a brush, sometimes it can be sensory harder. So like if you use your fingers in your makeup, it can be like easier to like tell like your contours. So when I started using the makeup a couple days ago, I used my brush. I am using a MAC brush, it's number 217. This is my favorite makeup brush for my eye makeup. Um, so that's what I'm using. Um, and so initially I was having a little bit of a hard time picking up the color. So I was using a sparkle because I thought I would like add a little sparkle to my eyes. And I was having a little bit of a hard time getting the sparkle to like come off the palette onto my eyes. But then when I used the mattes the other day, they were a little bit easier to get to get on my face. And then kind of once I started using the sparkles more that I felt like that they, they came off the palette a little easier. Um, the other thing is, is that with the, with the, pa with the, um, the matte colors, they're, they're pretty pigmented. Like if you use a heavy hand, there'll be a lot of makeup on your face, which is kind of nice because then you don't use as much makeup at a time, but it's also just something to be aware of. So I'm going to do a little bit of eye makeup to show you guys the color. And I'm going to actually start using my finger because that's kind of what they suggested. So I'm going to use this brown color um, just a little bit. And I'm going to show you guys here. So I'm going to use it. You can kind of see it. It's kind of a lot of brown. Um, and then I'm going to put it on my eye. 
kind of in the corner like I would. Um, I've never done makeup on camera before, so I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I watch like a million makeup tutorials every day, so we'll see what we think. Um, I don't usually use my fingers, so I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I mean, I can definitely tell I have color on. It's okay. I'm gonna use my brush for the other side just so you guys can kind of see kind of a side by side. So yeah, this is definitely kind of coming on. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of this dark kind of burgundy color too, just to kind of see what we think. Um, so I'm not sure that that's showing up. It's okay. Yeah, that's, that's definitely coming onto my brush. Um, I'll use my finger for this one as well. You can kind of see it's kind of in there and I'll just kind of go in the corner. Um, this palette of colors isn't like my palette that I use, so it like doesn't look exactly like what I'm used to, but I mean, that's just the nature of like makeup. Um, and then what I found is I actually used this pink more as a rouge for my cheeks. So I'm going to do that now. Um, you guys can kind of see what you think. So I just took a little on my finger and I'm kind of coming down and I'm actually gonna use this little darker rouge too, just kind of, kind of blend that in. And it seems a little aggressive now, but it actually looks, it looks okay. Um, I am gonna be totally honest with you guys. I think I use MAC makeup. That's like, I use MAC, I use Kylie right now. Um, which I love. Um, I use Lancome, Clinique, I use at Ink, um, I use NYX. No, I'm sorry, Ink, I don't know why I said that. I use NYX. Um, so I, those are kind of the makes up, makeups I'm used to. Um, a lot of my makeup comes in individual little makeup containers. And I've noticed, like, I've watched Molly Burke tutorials, and she uses little individual containers too, and then she'll braille or like mark up somehow the back of hers. So she knows each individual jar, like she has a little braille on the back. So all she has to do is just see like what color it is. Um, so I, I don't know, I kind of like that idea. Um, I feel like this is a little, like I feel like this would be a little hard initially maybe to get used to until you know what colors wear. Um, but that's just my opinion. I'm gonna show you the sparkle. I'm gonna use this rose gold cause that's kind of what I like. I like rose gold, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna show you. It actually, it actually is on my brush. Uh, let's see how it goes here. I'm gonna use a little on my eye. Whoa, that's intense. So this is um, not shimmer. This is like glitter. So if you want to use glitter makeup that is very glittery, um, this is the makeup I would use. I tend to use a shimmer, a little subtler, um, but the glitter is really, really quite that's quite a that's quite a lot of glitter it looks um looks pretty much like you're seeing it it's a little intense but it's super fun so if you like want to have like a fun night out makeup then that's the route i would take um so i just kind of wanted to show you guys how this works um i'm also going to show you how the makeup remover works so you can see that and i'm gonna show you that on my hand, because that'll be kind of a good way. I'm gonna use this color here. And then you can see how that works just from like a product testing standpoint. So I'm just gonna put some eyeshadow on the back of my hand, and then you guys will be able to see. I'll also do some glitter on the back of my hand. Ooh, so I tried the glitter with my finger, and that actually really that didn't work so hot. Let's see. That may be more of a brush activity. Um, yeah, that's kind of all over the place. It's really loose glitter, so it's kind of falling all over. It's really fun for some situations. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a little bit more so you guys can kind of see here. So the makeup remover is actually a spray. So I, I would probably spray it on a cotton ball 
So I'm gonna actually do that um, here. And then I'll show you how the makeup remover works. Um, I'd say that that's working pretty well. It's a little bit, I felt like when I was using it before, the, the glitter is still, the glitter's still all over. So um, I use I use Lancome usually. Um, it's just kind of what I'm used to. Um, kind of just rubbing this in now just to see if I can get more off. And um, I will also maybe try a little of this on my, I'll actually try it on this side just so you can guys kind of see how it works. So I think that this product has a great um, background story. I think that the concept is really, really nice. Um, I like the idea that they're trying to help make makeup better for blind people. Um, I would say it's one of the things you just have to try and see what you think of the quality. I think you'd have to try and see what you know how you feel like if this if this product really is helpful for you as a blind person. That's something that you want to figure out on your own. So I don't know that this is the best product for blind people. I'm just not sure, but it is technically like made for blind people. So you guys should see what you think if you're interested. Um, I will put a link down at the bottom and you guys can see what you think. Um, but thank you to Visionary Cosmetics for sending us these supplies. Um, I think that there's definitely a market for blind makeup and this is one of the products you guys have. So thank you so much. They also sell lip color, um, and that appeared to be um, like a lip, um, like a matte. Well, I shouldn't say matte. It's a, just like, you know, you take it out, and then there's like the stick that you do. Not like lipstick, but like the brush kind of. So the sponge brush. So see what you guys think. So that is Visionary Cosmetics. Great company. Um, thank you for sending us the products. And... You guys will have to kind of see what you think. If you're interested, let me know what you think. If you've tried these, I'd be interested as well. Thank you so much. Um, subscribe. Any questions you have, I'm like, super happy to answer and I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. You can't wait to see me now Cause lately